Section 2.4 Linear Functions A function f is a linear function if f of x equal to ax plus b. a and b will be the real numbers. And if a not equal to 0, the domain and the range of a linear function are both negative infinity to positive infinity. For these sessions, you guys need to know how to graph the linear functions. Let's graph the f of x equal to 2x minus 1. After you graph the function, find the domain and the range. So for the x here, you could plug in any values in here. So I'm going to plug in x equal to 0. So 2 times 0, which is 0 minus 1, that will be equal to negative 1. So I do have the order pairs that 0 and negative 1 here. Now, I want you guys try to plug in like those values and find it out what is your fx and what it done has all the pairs. Okay, you should get 1 and 1 here, 2 and three here okay plug it into this equation two times two equal to four four minus one equal to three so you do have all these points okay right so let's write down these five order pairs on the graph paper and then we're gonna join all these five points together with the straight line since this is a linear equation, so the domain and the range are both from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, right? Equation for horizontal and vertical lines. If A and B are constant, then the graph of Y equal to B is a horizontal line. Okay, so you can see y equal to b, that will be a horizontal line. And the graph of x equal to a is a vertical line. We do have the vertical equation here. Pretty straightforward, right? So sketch the graph of y equal to 3. That will be horizontal line, right? You could plug in the points here, or you could draw the horizontal line at 3 here. Okay, find out the domain and the range. So think about it. What is the possible values of x? It can be any real numbers, right? So the domain will be from negative infinity to positive infinity. And how about the range? Since this is a horizontal line, so we only have a one point here. So the range will be equal to 3. In this test, we will agree that if the coefficient and constant in a linear equation are rational numbers, then we will consider the standard form. So this is a linear equation with the standard form ax plus by equal to c. Okay, highlight the standard form. I highlight the ax plus by equal to c. Where a greater than or equal to 0, a, b, and c are integers. And the greatest common factor of a, b, and c is going to be 1. If two or more integers have a greatest common factor of 1, they say to be relatively prime. Okay, look at the linear equation. And I want you guys to find out the domain and the range. So first, my c is equal to 0. So I'm going to add 5y for both sides. And then I divided by 5 for both sides here. So we still have the linear equation. I could use the table or you guys can use the slope to graph this equation. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the x here. The number of the x doesn't matter what you're going to put. Okay, but since I do have the fraction here, so I will try to put a number that I can be simplified with the 5 here. 
So for sure, the easiest one, I'm going to plug in x equal to 0, right? And then what is the second one? If x equal to 0 here, how about the second one? What are you going to put? What number you could cancel with the 5 here? You could put positive 5, right? So 5 and 5, you cancel out, you find out what is your y. And then one more. I have a 0, 5, and how about this one? Oh, I'm going to plug in the 3 here. So in here, I'm going to get the fraction. Okay. Um, actually, if I try to plug in the number, I may plug in the negative 5 instead. Okay, 0, 5, and negative 5. Negative 5 divided by 5, you're going to get negative 1. Negative 1 times 4, so negative 4. Okay, so you should have a one more coordinate, like... Uh, negative 5 and 4 okay 1 2 3 4 5 so somewhere like here and then 1 2 3 4 okay so that's got the points in here what is the domain and the range keep in mind that when you have the linear equation the domain and the range is got to be all real values Slope. We could use the M to represent your slope. When you have the two points here, you could join the straight line here and we want to find out the slope. How can you find it? Either you use Y over 1. So the slope Y go up how many unit and then 1 how many unit. This is how you guys find out the slope. Or you could use the uh, other pairs Y2 minus Y1. So you find out the y's here, divided by x2, x2 would be here, minus x1. Okay, plug in this formula to find out the slope. First one, I will have, this is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Simplify it, you're going to get negative 5 over 2. And it doesn't matter which one you call x1, y1, which one is going to be x2, y2. Okay, you could switch it, you're going to get the same answer. Okay, try to do B and C. Okay, check your work you will have a zero. And the last one. Okay, zero over it, that is equal to zero. What is a negative 20 over zero? That's undefined, okay? The slope is undefined. But what's that mean when the slope is undefined? Undefined slope means you do have the vertical line, okay? When you have a vertical line, the slope is going to be undefined. Slope equal to zero, then you do have a horizontal line, okay? Horizontal line, the slope is going to be equal to zero. I want you guys to highlight this too, okay? When you find the slope is undefined, means the equation is going to be vertical. When you find the slope is equal to zero, that means the line is going to be horizontal. Okay, graph the line passing through this point and having the slope 4 over 3. So what are we going to do? First, I want you guys plot the points, negative 2 and negative 3. And what is the means the slope is 4 over 3? This is means I want to rise 4 unit and then 1 3 unit. Okay. So I have a negative 2 and negative 3 here. How can we use the slope? Y is 4 unit. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units here. And then 1, 3 unit. 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to get another point, which is 1 and 1. Now you're going to join these two points together. That will be a linear equation.
slope a line with a positive slope wise from the left to the right. The corresponding linear function is increasing on its entire domain, a line with a negative slope falls from the left to the right. So that means from the left to the right, we want to going up, there's an increasing, we call this as a positive slope. But when your slope is decreasing, okay, going down, so this is going to be negative slope. And then a line with the slope zero, okay, neither wise non four. The corresponding linear function is constant on its entire domain. And then in line with the slope zero, we just talk about it, right? When the slope equal to zero, you do have the horizontal line. And then a slope of a vertical line is undefined. So vertical line here, the slope is going to be undefined. Okay, increasing or decreasing, I just say about it, right? And increasing line has a positive slope, increasing, going up. And then decreasing line, going down, we do have a negative slope. Okay, going up, increasing, positive slope. Going down, we do have a negative slope. Okay, look at all this example. So, um... You could think about it when your slope is equal to zero, it's going to be horizontal line. And then when you're going up, become the green one, m equal to one half, right? Keep going up, then m equal to one, okay? The slope is getting bigger and bigger, and m equal to two. Once it's going to vertical, the slope is going to be undefined. And keep going, now it's going to be decreasing. So the slope is going to be negative, negative 2, and then negative 1, negative 1 half, and go back to 0. That's it.